Hi, Lucas. Oh. It seems like you do have confidence. Yes, yes. I'm I'm right now at home because I I get sick, so that right now I'm not going to work. I usually don't enter to the own life because of it. Well, that's a good thing. So, is this how you practice your speaking? Yes, I need to practice uh, better because in my previous job I used to talk a lot in English and Spanish. I used to work in a call center, you know, and I have to talk all the time. Mm. And did you like that job or not? And I prefer sales. I'm right now on sales. I prefer mm. sales than support customers because customers sometimes get, uh, you know, very tall and very stressed about different kind of things. Sure, that's a great job and you can learn a lot, I think. Yes, I ha you you have you you learn to be patient, especially because people can get really stressed and difficult sometimes. Sure, and do you still find that difficult? And uh, no, I think I'm very patient right now. I used to lose patience really easily previously, but now, right now I'm when I uh, met someone is difficult, I only listen and say okay. Get get right. <laughs> Sometimes sure. like you just say, I understand. Yes, I get it. But no. Yeah. But that is good. So it helps you also improve your English, right? Yes, I improve a lot in that job because uh, I used to be less fluent. I mm -hmm. think I I need to improve more. Yes, but uh, in the previous was uh, very shy and don't talk a lot. And what do you think has made you more confident? Where did it come from? Um, I think I learn more English when I travel. I talk with foreign people and, and when you are in a party or in the beach, you get more comfortable and start talk and talk. And that's better when you travel. I think I recommend that you meet different people and learn about different accents. Mm -hmm. um, because of meeting and joining the, that moment, you want to understand more different cultures and learn. Learning is more easy. I get that. Yes, that sounds very nice. It's also a nice way to learn, you know, meeting new people. Yes, yes. I love travel. I maybe travel to Poland in the end of the year. Mm. I'm planning that I'm going to Europe. Yes. That is great. And where would you really like to travel to? Is there a specific place you're like, yes. And I would like to know Poland and Germany and France and Italy, maybe. Mm, yes, many places to see. <laughs> yes, but uh, I hope uh, maybe three of them I will have to choose because I prefer and not not uh, running between countries, you know, just enjoying sure, just time, taking yes. your time. Yes, taking my time. That is better for me. And what's the favorite place you've been so far? Or is it just back home? Um, Miami was very, very good. Um, shopping, the beach and um, party was really crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yes, it's like a real yeah. holiday. <laughs> Yeah, it was really good because I was in New Year for Miami and for me it was really great. That sounds really nice. Are you planning to go back? Yes, I hope to uh, go back uh, soon maybe to Miami. I don't know if this year, but the next, sure, for sure, I, I will return because for me it was excellent. That's very nice. I hope to go there one day because it does sound like a good place. <laughs> Yes, it's, it's really good because it's really relaxing. People are kind and the majority are from Latin America, I think. Uh, mm. There were not more Cuban, Mexican, um, that kind of nationalities. And then the other were from America. Sure, I get that. It's a very mm -hmm. international place. Yes, very, very international, yes. Yeah, very I think easy. depending where you go in Europe, it can also be very international. <laughs> yes, I hope to enjoy. And but what time you recommend me visit Europe? Because right now I know it's cold. Maybe 
I mean, yeah, it's going to be winter time, so it's we always recommend to do it in the summer because then the weather is going to be better. Because the weather in Europe is more like average weather. We don't really have extremes. It can be warm, mm. but normally it's not hot. But if it's hot, it's normally in Spain or Italy or Greece, the countries that are a little bit lower. But winter time could be beautiful, and especially in places like uh, Austria and Switzerland, where there's a lot of snow, mm -hmm. and the south of Germany, it can be beautiful. Yes, I, I would like to know Hero because I've never been in Hero. Before. Yes, and um, people are always surprised by how different every country in Europe is. Even though it's not that big, every country is very different. Yes, I I mean, I, Nether I heard that Netherlands is good also. You live there. So you have, if I plan to visit Netherlands, you have a recommendation? Hmm. Well, most people go to Amsterdam because it's the most international place, like everybody speaks English there. But if you want a little a place where there are less tour tourists, you can take the train for about 40 minutes to a city close to Amsterdam. And it looks exactly like Amsterdam, but it's much cleaner and it's much nicer, we think, as Dutch people. <laughs> Oh, good. Thank you. And I don't know if that is the country I heard that is permitted to smoke weed in Austria. Is true or not? Uh, weed is legal in the Netherlands. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, because uh, a friend told me that uh, she went to a bar and they can smoke and was fun. Sure, yes. There's a lot of things legal here which would not be legal in other countries. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. why people like it, I guess. <laughs> yes, maybe. Well, well, well you, thank you, you so don't... much, at least. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate nice you lesson. asking about it and sharing your experience. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you for the recommendation. I will visit Austria maybe, I don't know if this year, but maybe soon. Yes, well, I would say uh, check in with the weather and maybe some activities online and you will find the right place to go. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. All right. See you around. Thank you. Bye. Evelyn is amazing. Yes. Asking for recommendations, always a good thing. Absolutely. Yeah, you know what it is? Dutch people, we don't. I don't know if you have this with your capital city. But we always say that Amsterdam isn't really the Netherlands. Most capital cities, they are so international that they start feeling like a different country almost. <laughs> so whenever people here are in the Netherlands, we recommend them to go to cities close to Amsterdam, which are more like Dutch cities. 